Hello. 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 Would you like a chance to win a car? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay. So there's three doors in front of you, and behind two of them are goats, and behind one of them's a car. And I'm going to help you to win that car. So would you like to pick door one, door two, or door three? One. Door one. Okay, great. So as I say, I'm going to help you out. So I'm going to open door two to reveal a goat. Now, would you like to stick with your original choice of door one, or would you like to switch to door three? Stick. Okay, you're going to stick. So let's see what's behind door one. Oh, unfortunately, you have the goat. However, you still win our little plastic goat, so help yourself. Thanks. Excellent. So when we start the game, what's the probability of the car being behind door one when they're all shut? One in three chance. Okay, great. And the second door? And the third door. Okay, great. So we're happy with that. But what do you think happens when I open this door? The probability of the car being behind this door is now... Zero. Zero, absolutely. There's no chance that that's a car. So, do you think now the probability of these two doors has changed at all? Yeah. Okay, in what way? It's a horror. Okay, so you reckon that there's a 50-50 chance of the car being behind either door? Okay, that's a usual assumption for this, but actually it's not the case because of what we call conditional probability. So because we've opened this door, we've changed the probabilities. You picked this door, so the chance that the car is behind that door was a third, and it's still a third. But now we've opened this door, we've changed the probability of our final door. Now probabilities have to add up to one. So we've got a third plus zero, so the probability of the car being behind this door is now... A seventh. Uh, two thirds, nearly, nearly. Two thirds, so a third, two thirds makes one. And what I've been doing is plotting those results all day. And so if you have a look here, you can see that um, there's beginning to be a difference in the chance of winning. And if we were to plot this over a longer time period, we'd see that there's about a third chance of winning if you stick and a two thirds chance of winning if you switch. And as a thank you for taking part, you get a tiny bit of fun. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.